Lumbar fusions are a common procedure that we perform primarily for back pain and or leg pain that usually results from degenerative conditions such as degenerative disc disease, instability such as spondylolisthesis, and also indications such as deformities including scoliosis and kyphosis as well as for traumatic situations. Lumbar fusions are commonly performed in combination with other procedures such as laminectomies or microdisectomies, which allow us to unpinch or decompress the nerves uh, in addition to stabilizing the spine. The objective of the surgery is to remove the disc material and by doing so we also decompress the nerves that are passing by that area. Once that disc material is removed, then we reconstruct the spine by placing a hollow spacer within that disc space. That spacer also elevates the disc space, which is commonly lost as a result of decompression or, or, or trauma or degeneration. Um, and that both stabilizes the spine and by recreating the disc kite also aids in decompressing those nerves as well. Then we allow those bones to heal together through this hollow spacer and around it, which is essentially the fusion. After surgery, the patients wear a lumbar brace, usually for about six weeks. During those initial weeks after surgery, it, the goal is to increase mobility, become stable on your feet, uh, and promote walking and activity as much as the patient is able to tolerate. After surgery, the recovery is dependent upon the patient to an extent. We know that some patients are able to bounce back really quickly. Some patients take a little more time uh, in terms of making milestones and progressions. So it's pretty customized uh, to that, that particular patient. Uh, after surgery, there's not a lot of formal physical therapy. Unlike a, a knee surgery or shoulder surgery, there's a lot of active rehab. Uh, the main point after surgery is to regain mobility and the primary mode of rehabilitation is walking. The usual recovery after a lumbar fusion ranges depending on the particular patient as well as the endpoint of which that patient is trying to achieve. For example, patients that live a more sedentary lifestyle have a shorter recovery to get to that point as opposed to patients that live a more active lifestyle or have a more physically demanding occupation. It takes them a little longer to get back to that end point. Overall, the usual recovery time ranges somewhere between two months on the short side of things and could be as long as four to six months if a patient has a very strenuous activity or strenuous occupation that they're trying to get back to, as that latter patient will require more physical rehabilitation to get back to that point of activity. 